Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego movie set review. So this is set 70804, the ice cream machine. This is for ages 8 to 14. Comes with a piece count of 344 pieces and it retails here in the UK currently for £24.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay, so this is a two-in-one set, and we can see the rear of the box there. So um, we have on the left, the obviously, the ice cream uh, van. And the alternative build on the right is the supersonic flying ice cream machine. So that's what we can see there. And in the alternative build, we have the micromanager there, which I have made already. So... Um, just very quickly there, you can see that there, but you will see that um, later on in this video and get a closer look at that. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Um, it comes with three sets of instruction manuals because um, you have uh, one set for the actual ice cream van itself. And then there are two other sets for the supersonic flying ice cream machine. Um, which we can see there. So let's take our first look at this set. Okay guys, so there we go. So first off, I'm going to go with um, this build first, which is the ice cream machine. Um, as we can see there, I think this uh, looks the part. Looks pretty cool. Great design for an ice cream van. Um, ice cream van, sorry. I think I said ice cream machine then. Sorry, the ice cream van in this build. Um, there we can see the three minifigures that come with this set. So I will give you an overview of the ice cream van first along with the minifigures. Then we'll take a look at the alternative build which is the supersonic flying ice cream machine. So first of all let's take a closer look at the three minifigures. Okay so first off we have ice cream Mike um, which we can see here holding his ice cream and looking pretty cool. So first thing I'm going to do actually is remove that ice cream cone there. Um, just lay that down there so we can take a bit of a better look at him. Um, yeah, you can see that actually that ice cream cone there. Okay, so now moving back to ice cream Mike. So first of all there we can obviously get a good look at that printing. And again, there's some pretty good printing on this minifigure and um, use of the colours is great with that um, pink apron um, on top of that blue torso got this pretty cool um, ice cream hat I guess we call it obviously there so just gonna give a quick 360 view now of ice cream Mike see a bit of that print into the rear of the torso And there with the hat moved, get a bit of a better look at that um, face printing. You would have seen hopefully on the 360, it's only a single sided face. So that's Ice Cream Mike. Let's take a look at our second minifigure. Okay, so next up we have Ice Cream Joe. Um, similar design when it comes to the clothing with regards to the um, colours that have been utilised. So again, let's take a 360 tour of Ice Cream Joe. Again there, you can see some of that rear torso printing where the apron wraps around. Okay, good view of that um, hair piece that's utilised on Ice Cream Joe. And finally back round to the front, just remove that hair piece so you can get a bit of a better look at the print into the face. And again, it's only a single sided face, so that is Ice Cream Joe. Okay, final minifigure, this is obviously our Keep Fit Fanatic here. So this is Cardio... Um, carry um, so again great use of colors with regards to the printing on the torso and down there into those legs um, and indeed on the uh, face you can see some of that print in there obviously what's trying to or what is representing the yellow uh, sorry the pink headband so again let's take a 360 tour of cardio carry and again you can see the hair piece there bit of a better shot of that See the rear shot there, and you can just about see some of the print into the rear torso. Okay, 
Okay, back round to the front and with the hairpiece removed again, you can see better the print into the face, that pink headband and obviously um, the face printing detail itself. Let's take a look at the rear. So there you can see she does come with a dual sided face um, and also now you can see the print into the rear torso um, a little bit better. Um, now the hairpiece is removed, so this is, or that is, uh, cardio carry completed. Okay guys, so that's our three minifigures there, um, all lined up so you can see them together. So that's the overview of the minifigures complete. Let's take a look at the ice cream van itself now. Okay guys, so here we go with the ice cream van. Like I said, I think this is a great represent representation of an ice cream van. Great use of some pieces in this. Great utilisation of um, some of the colours and obviously how they've made the ice cream cone on top here again. I just think, you know, it's uh, fantastic. So just want to first of all start off with the 360 Tour. Okay, so now looking down at the front view. Obviously there um, around to the other side of the ice cream van. And looking into the rear of the ice cream van, um, you can just probably pick up, sorry, here in the rear there is a window um, there. Um, and what you can see in there is kind of the rear of the two um, ice cream making um, machines in there. And finally back round to that side view. Okay, now just zooming in, just pick up some more of the detailing on this. So um, all the, uh, what you can see on there is printing are all stickers um, over to the right here um, on this window. It's kind of a um, oh, ice cream menu. Um, and again, that's replicated on the other side. And you can start to actually see inside the ice cream truck itself there, but I'll give you a closer look at that in a second. Okay, then round to our top view. And um, we can now see up here um, the actual um, sirens or speakers where the actual tune that the ice cream van makes is obviously going to come out. Okay, and then just up top, obviously, we can get a bit of a better look there. The Again, like I said, the use of those, or some of the Lego pieces. This is used in a few sets as a, a drill, obviously, to bore into the ground. Um, I think it's a great use of the ice cream cone. Um, and then, obviously, on top there, we have the ice cream. Uh, if I just move that back, actually. Zoom in a little bit. So on each corner there, you can see ice cream cones. Spin that around, you can see that one there, um, obviously at the rear. Okay, and just going back to the front shot of the ice cream van, just so I can zoom in and show you again. Um, that is a sticker there, but you can see there, ice cream on the top front of the ice cream van. Okay, so now moving on to the interior of the ice cream van. So the roof does lift off. Let's take that off there like so. So there we can see that roof piece. Um, now taken off. Um, if I just tilt this over, I'll zoom in. First of all, you can see obviously the plates and tiles on top of that roof. Um, and inside there at the rear, you can see those ice cream machines. And obviously there's a ice cream cone there with some green ice cream on it. Um, down there, there is a crate, and inside that crate are some ice lollies. I believe there are two ice lollies in there, and what is a, it's actually a fridge, what's representing a fridge, um, and the top of that does open. It's difficult if you can see my hand in there, but hopefully you can see that, yeah, there, opening. Um, and then inside, a better look at those. Um, ice cream lollies um, that were inside there. Okay, and just a quick look at one of those lollies. It's a green lolly there, and there are two of those in the fridge. Okay, continuing obviously with the interior. Let's tilt it that way. You can see there the steering wheel, 
That's obviously where one of the two um, ice cream minifigs um, sit in there to obviously drive the ice cream van. And that is pretty much it for our interior. Okay, and finally there we can now see with the um, well ice cream Mike and ice cream Joe both inside the ice cream van. So obviously ice cream Joe is there in the driving seat. Um, obviously driving the ice cream van around and there at the window on the side we have ice cream Mike who is obviously preparing and selling the ice creams. And again there a shot of the side of the ice cream van and again just simply place the lid, lid sorry, roof to the ice cream van back on top like so and push down. And there we have our ice cream van with our two minifigs serving the ice cream. Okay guys, so that's the review of the first part of this set complete. So let's take a look at the alternative build now, which is the supersonic flying ice cream machine. Right, okay, so there we go. Now we can see the alternate build from this two-in-one set. So this version is obviously the flying ice cream machine and it comes with dual wing mounted flick fire missiles uh, which I will show you in a second. Okay and we also have as you can see there to the right of the set the micro manager and that actually comes with a triple fire um, flick fire missiles um, but I'll show you both those and the flick fire missiles on the flying ice cream machine in a second when we take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a look at the micro manager first. Okay, so there's a close up of the micro manager. So let's just take a quick, a quick 360 view of this. And the rear shot, and there you can see the rear of that triple flick fire missile. And finally back round to that front shot and just while we're there I'm just going to tilt this back a little bit so we can kind of see in there to that recessed area. And that's where we can see in the centre is one of the flick fire missiles because that's where they actually fire out of. So I'm just going to try and show you that operation now. In fact, first thing I'm going to do is show you the flick fire missiles. They're on this um, Technic piece here. You see there, three flick fire missiles. We have this little ball technique piece there, and that's kind of, I guess, suits two purposes. One to lift it up, but it also keeps it in position um, down here. If I slot that in and just put that down there, the flick fire missiles actually hold it in place, and when it gets down to the bottom, this will stop the Technic. Um, this main Technic piece from obviously falling straight through so obviously we fire them in order so the bottom one first so I'm just going to try and show you that now I'm just going to push it out so that's the first one gone out and as we do that you will see that that's gone down so this time I fire it from that way push this one out and again you can see it's gone down if we take that one push that one out obviously what would happen then like I said that stops that from falling out um, at the bottom. Okay, so that's the Micro Manager finish. So let's take a look at the ice cream making flying machiney thingy jiggy. Okay, so now we can see the flying ice cream machine. So again, let's start off with a 360 view now. There we can see the rear shot. And finally now the front view of our flying ice cream machine. Um, and if we can zoom in a little bit more there so you can see the minifigures there now look in position. You can obviously see at the back there we have uh, ice cream Joe who's piloting the flying ice cream machine. Um, and then down in that front section there, if I just spin that around a little bit there, 
we have Ice Cream Mike and Cardio Carry, both in that main section there, so they're going to be operating the likes of the flick fire missiles and those shooting cones on the front um, to obviously ward off um, the various enemies um, which obviously are trying to attack them. Okay, so just going to try and show you really how they've done this alternate build here. So we can see down here obviously are the wheels from the actual ice cream truck or van itself um, and obviously the wings there um, on either side I um, mean you can probably work it out from obviously some of these pieces here that's obviously the front of the ice cream van itself we can still see there in fact the whole rear or rather bottom section of this is the chassis from the ice cream van or truck um, if we can just try and take a look inside there in the rear. Okay, moving back round to the wing there, you can see they've got these really cool flick fire missiles on either wing. So here is a flick fire missile, and it is actually one of the uh, um, ice cream lollipops. So, like I said, that is a flick fire missile. So, if I come. Let's try and come around from but Ethan. Do you want to push that out for me? That flick fire missile. Try and fire it out. Don't stand in front of the camera. I should try my... There we go. So that's Ethan firing it out. Apologies. It's difficult to do that and still keep it in camera shot. So let's try again. I'll do it from this angle. There. And we can see that obviously shoot out there. Okay, there we go. So that's, like I said, the alternate build from this two-in-one set. Just a very quick overview of um, the flying ice cream machine. So, indeed, that's this uh, review completed. So, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead, give it that thumbs up, as always, please. Any questions, comments, or feedback, always welcome down in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.